Well, this is the Betfred Boxing Show, and as you can see, we are in our home city of Manchester. We've been on the road, obviously, the last couple of weeks, but it's a very special one because, obviously, we're talking about Parker and Chisora 2 and a massive <laughs> undercard on the... <laughs> At the arena, the Manchester Arena, just yeah. down there, Anthony. Yeah, all we've, arena. We've, uh, we've been joined by a special guest, not Anthony Million Dollar Crawler, but this yeah. fella here. What's going on? Who the hell are you? Don't worry about <laughs> me. What are you doing? I don't care. I don't ha hate you. That's what I do. See? Here's a. Here, hold that sign. Losers! See oh, what she fights. <laughs> now, That's what are you doing? Anthony, Anthony Million Dollar Crawler. Like you call an Anthony Million Dollar Crawler, former world champion, a loser. Hello. I'm on TV now. Ah, who are you? Skan Kolobolovic. Mr. Red End. <laughs> Hello. Jesus. Well, what's going on here? There's lots of freaks on the street, isn't there? My first time in Manchester. Oh, that's lovely. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Right. Is Give it, me that time. Would you yes. think, is, it, is it Mad Friday now? Oh, what's going on? Is it Mad Friday? Really? How How dare dare you? Right. Anyway, Anne, let them carry on. Go on, mate. Park Kichizora 2. How excited are you about this? Me. I'll be honest, it's, it's had mixed reviews about the, um, yeah. 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 you know, being a rematch. But a lot of people felt I Derek done enough. Yeah. What? What is? Yeah. Who's this game? Yes. Proceed. Uh, um, <laughs> felt like he needed a rematch. Yep. Yeah. Um, Derek, sorry, deserved the rematch. Felt like he'd done enough. Yep. Um, I thought, you know, he maybe just edged it. And I, I think we're going to get a much better fight than the first fight. Brilliant on the card as well. Lots of real yes. talent on there. The likes of Lerone Richards, Alan Babich, and, and again, you know, again, yes. as as we would expect to see out the year, with a top top show. Yeah, it is a good show. Um, you mentioned then Lerone Babich, yeah. um, Jack Cullen's in a yeah. real fight. Great fight. Little Evers meet Cleaver. Yeah. Um, it'll bring a real crowd with him. Zelfa Barrett. Let's not forget. Yep. Um, it's a good show. It's a really yep. good show. He's not fighting whoever that was anyway. So. I could I hope do not. him fighting. Yeah, I could, yeah. Hopefully he's going to fight Babbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be good. But also as well, we were in Liverpool last week. Yep. And we're going to get into it obviously today and tomorrow at the press conference. But uh, a fantastic night of action. Yes. And uh, Conor Ben, quick word on Conor before we get in and, and, and get all the, the workout yes. material. Conor Ben um, proved, I think when we was at the workout last yeah. week, I thought how confident Algier he was. I thought it made me a lot more excited for the fight. But uh, what Conor Ben did was just undermine the fact that he is... He's certainly got a claim for being the most improved fighter in Britain in the past two years. Um, it was um, it was a stunning knockout, a bit scary at times as well. Um, but yeah. Conor Ben's improving all the time, and it's that next step up the ladder now. And we see what's what's what. I think he's been he's been matched very well um, as Conor. But I'm just like looking forward to his half friend again. I'm looking forward to see what's next for him. Right. Well, this is just a normal, a normal, yeah. normal, normal kind of afternoon in Manchester, and nothing yeah. scary about it at all. But <laughs> what, right. you, you get, plug whatever you're doing. Oh well, yes, I'm here on behalf of Park and Party, which is a driving movie. It's fabulous. <laughs> That's right. So we're here just doing a bit of promotion. So I'm just roaming the streets of Mankville, causing havoc. You're doing just How about that? that? Park and Party. Right. I think we better get inside now. And Let's see go. The workout. Bye. Hate you all! <laughs> Give me a fistbump. That's yeah. what I'm just going for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Lovely. A pleasure not to meet you. Well, always good to catch up with Dave Colwell, who's got a busy-ish night. I know you've, you've had busy nights, probably, Dave. I know because you're a man of many hats in terms of, you know, you've promoted, managed, trainer, you're fighting yourself and everything else. But you do have, and we've already spoken to Lerone Richards, he's in action. And then, of course, the big lad at the end of the night. What are these nights like when you're multitasking a little bit? Um, I'll be honest with you, I, I live for nights like this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's like when, when you're a fighter and you're boxing at one level and then you're stepping up to the next level, that's what you're in game for. Do you know what I mean? These are the nights you're in. Yeah, that's, 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 fights that's, in big fights. that's what it's about. And you know, going back to what I used to do, when I was promoting, I was also training, training the fighters mm. as well. So I'd have a fight, I'd have a show on, and I might have six of my fighters on. And it's like, it's a nightmare. The worst yeah. part about that was hand wrapping because then your bike's snapping yeah. like, doing everybody's hands. But um, no, something like this, this is two massive bites. It's one yeah. thing having, you know, a, a big fight and then a smaller fight on another card, but massive fights, you know, it's what I'm in for. And, and the two really, really good fights, two fights where you, they are 50 50 fights. Mm. We mentioned Tularon before, Dave. Is this possibly the first time in his career where he's going in the underdog certainly with the bookmakers? Yeah. 
we know how good Lerone is, the skill set of him, you do. Yeah. You're confident you go in there and does a job on Saturday night? I am, because, um, you know, a lot of, again, you've been around a lot of fighters and you, you'll understand this. A lot of people have got this talent and you see him in the gym and you're thinking, whoa, if he, if he can keep that mentality yeah. and if he, and then you see him go through the levels, domestic levels, and British, European levels, but each step up, some fighters grow with it. Some fighters feel that pressure with it. He's excited. He's just like calm. He's calm, but he's excited to show people what he can do at this level. Yeah. And, you know, make no bones about it. You beat Gongora, you are world right. level. You are yeah. right at the top. This guy's a top five super middleweight. You know what I mean? So there's no argument. I'm not interested in the. I've, I've been taking a mick out of him. I'm not interested in his title. Right? It doesn't mean anything to me, right? Because that's, that's, that's no, not No, but like you thing. just said then, but we're here on Saturday the, night pushing it. right in the, the pick of the mix. He beats Pongora. You're talking the Caleb Plants. You're, yeah. Talking, yeah. you're talking the big names, do you know what I mean? And, and, and also you've got to think about what's Canelo doing? Is he giving up those bells? If he's giving up those bells, then people are going to be paired. Yeah. And you've put yourself right in that, that, that position to be paired for a world yeah. title shot. So uh, the stakes are big, but he's got the personality where he's not somebody that's, that is going to come out and all of a sudden think, shit, this is it. No, yeah. this is where he's, he's yeah, going yeah. to come out and he enjoys it. You, you mentioned personality there, because I think it's rare you meet a boxer you don't like, yeah. personally. I think most boxers are really sound, but he's, yeah. he's one of the most likeable yeah. lads you could ever meet, and yeah, he yeah. seems to have a really lovely attitude to yeah. the sport and everything about it. You obviously work with different characters. Is that how you've always found him? Yeah, he is. He's... he's, he's um, don't get me wrong, in the early days, he, the re at first, when I got asked to coach him, I didn't want to coach him, I'd said no. Um, a couple of times, Sam Jones was his manager, then he was coming on to me about it. I, I watched him in his fights and I thought, he's lazy. He just does enough just to get through him. Yeah. And he's one of those where it frustrated me. And to be honest, for the first fight, first fight and a half of the second camp, you were thinking the same. I, honestly, I was like, oh. but he's, he's flicked a switch. Yeah. And just coming into that last fight and then the performance on his last fight when he fought for the European title, he just did what I wanted him to do. And he was so attentive and listen, he listened to everything. And then from that day on, he's been a completely different kid. He understands what I need him to do. He understands what, what I'm wanting to do for development, mentally as well as physically. And He's just doing it, and he's been so good to work with. I, I, I love working with him. But as a person, as a human being, he's, he's a legend. He's just he's just such a nice yeah. kid. He's a really, really good kid. Has it, has it been a little bit chalk and cheese, obviously, preparing the role <laughs> for that night? I knew where you were going what with What do you mean? And Derek for his big night. Who's just arrived, by the way. Yeah. We'll catch up with Derek later. Um, it's different. Yeah, it's yeah, a different, different. Pass up. But do you know what, though? You know what though? Derek and Lerone have bounced they off, bounce each, off other. each other. Bounce off each other. Derek that. and Hope. I've got yeah. a young kid, Stephen Cairns, the gym. He's 19 yes. years old. Yeah. Right? Derek with him as well. Because I'll mix and match with the training room. Yeah. We're not all train together, yeah. but we'll drop in and drop out. Some days they'll train with somebody yes. else. And Derek's been a legend, honestly. Yeah, He's yeah. just. Because obviously I trained him for instance before for two fights. Yeah. But then he trained, he'd come, train, go. Now he'll come early knowing that. Opie sparring yeah. or Lerone sparring and he'll sit and he'll watch he'll or around. he'll train, get a shower, sit and then watch their session after. He's hanging yeah. around the gym and he's hanging around the lads more about it, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. and he's been really good to have around and he's been yeah. great because, like I said, the young kids like Stephen and the young kids like Hopi Price and, and obviously Lerone coming into a big fight, he's got that experience that he's just passing on, do you know what I mean? And, and it's, been, it's, it's been great, it really has. And he's in his dressing gown. Yes. Yeah, so he's, he's looking very relaxed, he's pure Derek thing, that. Yeah. Yeah, but just, just, uh, just break down. He's coming over. Yes. I think we might, we might just have to grab a word with him now. As Derek, we're just saying how, how relaxed you're looking in your dressing gown, right. and you're looking, you're looking very, very good. It's freezing out of this How are you? It's freezing. It is freezing. But how are you feeling, Derek, ahead of the fight? Fe feeling great, man. Ready to rock and roll. Is it? A, I mean, obviously, you're going to tell us it's a different outcome this time. It was close last time. Why is it different this time? Oh man, because I'm coming with some venom, bro. You know. Uh, I'm coming with frustration, anger, pissed off, you know, anything bad, I'm coming with that. Well, this fella's been praising you. He's been praising about your new ethic, 
You watch all the other lads. You're, you're really into it. You, you stay behind now. You watch all the sessions. It's a new, you know, it's a new and improved Derek now. Even though, even though you've been around a while, let's face it. Yes, I've been around a while. 14 years, kind of marking it. You know, the funniest thing is, you see this young man here. <laughs> we, were, we, we, we were amateurs together. We turned over at the same time. The same time. Yeah, same time. look at him. He left me in this game oh, yeah, with, this, with this young oh, guys. Six. But I still like it though. Love it, yeah. still loving it. Love it, love it. Can't that's, get enough. That's what comes across to the lads in the gym. Oh, he's, got go, he's got to go and do his thing. That's what comes across in the gym is that he loves it and he'll sit there and he's, he's saying to him, You've got to love it. Yeah. If you don't love it, you're in the wrong yeah. thing because it's mm. too hard. It's too hard a sport to do if you don't love it. And he still loves yeah. it. He really, really loves it. Yeah. And he is a character, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, again, he's going to—he's just said he's bringing something different. You've been working with him. You're not going to give a game plan away and all that. But why do we expect, in your opinion, Derek to win? Then why? Why do you think Derek wins? I think, this I, I, I'll be honest with you. I think both fighters are going to be better. Yeah. I do both think both great. fighters are going to be better. I'm, I Parker's not going to be the same Parker that you've seen before. He's not going to be the same Parker for definite that was in the first fight. You know. But Derek can't afford the. Derek can't afford to do what in the la it did in the last fight because Parker got through with too many clean shots in the last fight. Parker's going to deliver with better technique, which means his shot's going to carry more weight, yeah. more power. Mm -hmm. So he can't take those shots, he can't switch off many anyway. But also, look, I'm not an idiot. Derek's not going to go out and box like Lerone Richards. Yes. <laughs> right? yeah, 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 yeah. But he's going to be. I don't know, he's yeah. going to be better in what he's doing and how he delivers. And it's a, it's a bit of a Dave Caldwell and Andy Lee show again as well. I a little subplot, it's nice yeah. that. Seven, seven years ago. Um, wow. Yeah, Andy, to the, almost yeah, to the day, Andy, that Andy great night over in Vegas. Do you know what? That was one of the best. I, I, I know I don't, listen, I don't train Andy, but I was no, hoping I was great hoping to be Adam, involved in. Yeah, I was hoping Adam in the corner and I did that for a few fights. Uh, the, um, uh, there was a Corobo fight, there was Quillen, a Quillen, Quillen fight, yeah, yeah. you know, a few of those fights, just as a cut man, but just being around Andy, such yeah, a yeah. nice guy, yeah, such yeah. a calm man, when he won, such a good yeah. feeling, yeah. So, just because they're nice people, it's really, really, nice really nice people, so it was good, it was great. God. I think we better let you yeah. crack on, because he's on the mic now as well, so you, you need to probably uh, point through the motions. Always good to see you, Dave. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Dave, all the best. Thanks, mate. Cheers.
the vouchers. I've earned them. Actually, I've got a voucher for you. Well, it's not every day you meet a legend in three different sports. And that's probably, maybe there's others that we don't know about, but Sonny Bill Williams, obviously a legend of both codes in rugby. You've done it more than your fair share in the ring as well. Bro brother, if uh, raising kids and looking after young kids was a, was a sport, I'd be up there too, bro. You've got that as well, but we know why you're here. Yes. You, you, your big pal, who's yep. in there now doing the, the, his thing, Joseph Parker. First, before we get to Joseph and what, what happens at the weekend, yep. Derek Chisora is some character. I yes. mean, he's had you play musical chairs yes. in there. Yes, uh, yes. Again, it, the, the fellas crackers, in a good way, I think. Yes, he's great for the sport. He's great for, as a... Uh, from an avid boxing fan's point of view, he's he's what the sport needs. Yeah, uh, breathes life and life into the sport. Uh, I think the heavyweight division is at an all-time high at the moment, and especially in the UK. So, um, guys like Derek, guys like Joe, are why we want to watch this. You know, this beauty of a sport if it can be caught caught that. Yeah. Well, they're, they are very different characters. You probably won't meet a bigger gentleman than Joseph Parker. Yes. He, he really is. I mean, how far back do you do you two go, and uh, and tell us a bit about your relationship. Yeah, well, I first met him uh, before he was a, a pro. Um, he helped me out with uh, one of my earlier earlier fights mm. in my career, yeah. boxing yeah. career, if we can call it that. But um, he's always been special. And we've just stayed uh, in contact over the years. And obviously, him, seeing him rise up in the ranks, uh, achieve what every young boxer's dream is, is of yes. becoming a world champion, um, was great to see. And we've just been close ever since then. So uh, it's great to see him here. And, it's also been great to come into camp this week and see him, see how uh, world-class boxers do it and world-class mm. trainers do it from a point of, from a Andy Lee's point of view as well. So. Yeah, Andy Lee, but obviously he's part of the Fury setup as well in Morecambe. And again, as you say, he's got great brains and great athletes around him now, hasn't he? Yeah, it was. For me, uh, I guess. Obviously, I'm coming over here to support Joe, but then also there's that little bit of selfishness about me too, that wanting to learn and, and, and be around these top individuals. Yeah. Uh, they say that, you know, training is 80, in a, for, for, for a bout, it's 80% physical and 20% mental, but on the night it's 80% mental and 20% 20, 20 physical. And just being in camp and seeing that firsthand, I, I understand that now. So, um, you got Jordan, uh, you got young David, yeah, yeah. you got Joe all in camp together, world-class fighters, you got Andy as a world-class trainer, it's something special is brewing and obviously under the banner of with Tyson Fury there too, so it's, uh, it's um, yeah, it's been really, really uplifting being able to be around these guys this week. I mentioned before, obviously, you can, it seems that you can do a bit, pretty much everything that you turn your hand to with the, with the rugby being pivotal, I suppose, but what's, what's the, the future for you then now? Have you got any oh, scoop for us? What, what yeah, can you tell us? I'm getting in the ring of, uh, the wife's let me have a couple of years of, of fighting, you know, and yeah. I've given my all to rugby and rugby league and I've been able to, able to come to left, thank God, um, achieve a lot in those sports, but I've never really done or given my whole heart and soul to boxing, so um, I know where I am in the sport, obviously, but uh, I just want to see you know where it takes me and um, I love the sport you know from an avid boxing fan's point yeah. of view and uh, being able to come here and and just spend time with Joe and see how he operates spend time with Andy spend time with these young lions coming up and see how they operate it's been a great experience are we going to see then Sonny Bill Williams fight here in the UK as a pro we're going to see the story I would love to. over here yeah I would love to I'd love to I never got to meet uh, yeah. big Tyson Fury uh, this time around but hopefully in a few weeks uh, Hopefully in a few months we'll come over here and do a little bit of a camp and mix and mingle with these lads and just pick their brains. Yeah. You know, I'm like a sponge when it when it comes to sport. I just love it, bro. You know? So the fighting story continues. That's great, great yes. news, and we, we look forward to seeing you in the ring very, very soon. Well, it's a pleasure to have uh, the time of Andy Lee, esteemed trainer. Now we know about the former world champion that you were, but it's interesting talking to people that work with you now, Andy. They, they're all saying the same thing about the brain that you have and how much they're learning off you now. I suppose you're still relatively young as a as a trainer, learning your game, but. Again, great praise all round. You can get a big head very easily the way these people are talking about you. No, I know. Well, uh, coaching's all about the results, isn't it? The results speak for themselves. Mm. So I have to get the results. And so we're, it's yet, yet to be seen. Uh, proof, you know, proof will be in the pudding. If we get a good win, then yeah, I'll be the hottest thing in boxing. But if I don't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Well, we've seen Joseph go through the workout. It looks in terrific shape. We know what happened first time around it. A close fight. I don't think there were, apart from maybe, obviously, Derek and his camp, not too many complaining about the result, but it was close. What happens this time that will be different in your favour? Completely honest, when the bell rang, I thought I wasn't sure about the decision. I thought we might have lost it. Um, and I said it to Chisori in the ring. I said, you, we'll give you a rematch. Um, we stay true to our word and we're here. But Joe's had much longer time to prepare now. He's much more focused and has a greater understanding of the style we're trying to, he's trying to implement, how to fight. So um, I just like to, just wanted to be more consistent, sustain his attacks. Um, yeah, and enjoy his fighting. Enjoy mm. the fight. You, see, you seem to have a very happy camp. I mean, again, talking to Jordan Thompson, Sonny Bill Williams, which has been interesting talking to him as well. He's been enjoying the whole thing. But with Joseph, I suppose the criticism's been, we know how good he is, uh, what a mover and how silky, but it's the spite maybe or lack of. Now, again, the cronk thing in your relationship with, with that, and we've seen it with Tyson and Sugar Hill, that little bit more spite. Is that what's added to the mix now? Yeah. Also, the technique and uh, yeah, the technique to, to be able to have that spite, to be able to transfer your weight, to be able to um, throw your punches correctly. It's the only way to have the spite in your punches. And then it's also the mentality, yeah. So, we'll see. Listen, we all make predictions and, mm. you know, but you never know. Fight boxing is, as a coach, you prepare the parent the best you can, but then once they go in that ring and the bell rings, it's out of your control. And, you know, it's, it's out of your hands and you have to trust the fighter. And I trust Joe and I trust the work we've done. And if he can do what he does, has done in the gym, then we'll be all right. And just a word about yourself, because obviously you have to now spend a lot of time in Morecambe and, and home is Ireland. I mean, have you had to amend plans or is there any long-term plans to switch over here or what? I mean, what are you thinking? No, uh, being away from, I have two young children and a wife and it's put immense strain on my yeah, yeah. family life. So um, from now on, I will be training in England. There was just a situation with Joseph where we had to train in Morecambe this time. Um, but we're going to be going... Um, to Dublin from now on. Okay. Set up camp there. And Joe's been there before, he knows it, so yeah. Oh, we had a great time in Morecambe. We we're very fortunate to have for Tyson and grateful to him for giving us his gym and all the facilities and being there with us, giving it, lending us his knowledge as well. So we're very, you know, say thank you to him. But yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll base ourselves in Dublin from now on. And we look forward to a big performance from this man then. At yeah, the weekend. please. Yeah, all the best, Andy. Thank, thank you. you. Well, it's a pleasure, as ever, to be joined by the main man. The name up in lights, so to speak, and it's, uh, well, will it be repeat? Will it be revenge when Joseph Parker and Derek Chisora do battle again in Manchester this Saturday night? Of course, you know, in your mind, you were getting your arm raised, but what's changed since that first fight? A lot has changed. Um, the most, I think the first thing that comes to mind would be the longer camp, the longer mm -hmm. time I've had of Andy. Learning, practicing every single day, and just more time together. You know, the first camp was a short camp and we, we got the win, mm. you know, it was a close fight. But I think with this fight, going into this, um, I'm more confident. I back myself 100% and you know, the, the power and speed that I have, but also because of the work that we put in um, in training camp. That training camp sounds fascinating as well, because you've been in Morecambe, obviously, with Tyson and the team, with Andy. We've spoken to Andy and, and about what's been going on there. But again, some of the other characters knocking about, Jordan Thompson and, and, then, and David that you have also from New Zealand. And again, it just seems like it's a, a really healthy stable with, with lots of good people around you. And that, how much of a help has that been? It's always great to be in a, in a strong and positive environment. Mm. And like you mentioned, we've got all these Andy, the main man, coaching all of us. You've got myself, David, there's Jordan, there's Tyson, John Fury, Tommy, the list goes on. Um, when you have an environment like that where everyone's working so hard and pushing each other and helping each other and encouraging each other, it, the only result that you can get is being the best that you can be. And, that's, and going into this fight, I am going to be the best that I can be. I didn't even mention Sonny Bill Williams which uh, is another little twist to the tale. Yeah. A legend in two codes of rugby. He's done a little bit in there and he's going to do some serious stuff now. So how's, it, how's he been? How's he been in, in, in the camp as well? And, and again, what can we look forward to, to see of him now? So, Sonny's uh, always supported me from afar. Mm. Australia, wherever he lived, New Zealand, traveling around the world, always sending me messages, supporting, cheering me on. He said to me on Thursday last week, he wants to come to the fight. Friday he booked his flight, Saturday he flew out, Sunday he arrived, and now he's yeah. with us. And not easy in this current it's situation. A, it's a not, yeah. not easy in this current yeah. situation. So he's here to support myself, Jordan, David, he's here yeah. to learn off Andy. 
and he's going to give boxing a real good go. He's a great athlete. Mm. You no know, rugby league. Now that's yeah. done, he can fully focus on boxing. I believe that he can give it a lot. Scary, really, isn't it? That's uh, another another proper fighting man to add to the mix. But from your own point of view, then you were here watching Derek Chisora's workout tonight. I say workout loosely because he played musical chairs. Yeah. I mean, again, uh, he's, he's some character. I don't know. Listen, you don't know where to start with him, really. He's a character. Like if I if I came here and did musical chairs, it'll be odd. It'll be it's not in my nature. It's just it'll be way different. Yeah. But when he comes and does it, everyone just accepts it because it's him. Yeah. You don't know what to expect. You know you don't know what he's gonna do, but he's fun. Yeah. You know he he makes it fun, and everyone had a good time. Everyone was laughing, filming, yeah. whatever. And then I got in there, <laughs> did my little thing. But he's just he's a character, and he's a great character for the sport of boxing. And it's always nice to see Derek in this mood because we've seen him throwing tables in the past. So that's throwing you, tables, yeah. punching people, kissing yeah. people, throwing glasses. There's mid, the list goes on. And yet there's no beef with you and him. It's all just business. It's all business. Yeah, yeah. Out of boxing, he's very respectful, um, caring for my family when I was here. Knows how hard it is for myself to, you know, when I was away from home. But inside the ring, it's a different story. Yeah. And speaking to Andy, home for you training-wise is going to be Dublin from now on. The more Morecambe thing is kind of is suited for this. But you're going to have to, you, you make sacrifices, every athlete does. I know your family's with you now, but that's going to be the, the, the plan going forward now. Yeah, whatever, it's, it's whatever what the best plan is for all of us yeah. moving forward, yeah. And just finally then, you are, again, something of a baby in the heavyweight division still, even though we've seen a lot of you. We've seen you in big, big fights. But you, again, when you, you think of Tyson 33, I know you're not going to fight Tyson. We've been through that one before. But the opportunities for you, as you're still learning, they're immense really, aren't they? People need to remember how young you are, 29 still. Still very young, still yeah. got a lot to give. Um, actually believing more in myself than ever before. Mm. So I'm still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while, giving it my best. And I just wanna be in, involved in the biggest fights I can be involved in and give it everything I have. And leave the sport knowing that I've done, you know, I've given it. But I'm gonna start with Chisora this weekend. A final one for you, because it's Christmas. What's Christmas Day for you and your family? What, what, Christmas what Day would be to relax with the family, mm. open presents, look at the beautiful lights around wherever we're going to be. Mm. And we're just going to... Will you be home, by the way? Will you, will you make it I want to spend Christmas here in the UK, oh, okay. New Year's in the UK. If I can lock in another fight after a great win, yep. I'll just base myself here for fights. There's not much in New Zealand in terms of boxing, so mm. this is the place to be. Fantastic. Well, all the best. It's lovely to talk to you, as ever. Thank you. Well, we have... Seen it all, I think, in the Albert Halls here in Manchester for this yep. very special matchroom to zone workout. Parker Chisora 2. Well, I think it's fair to say, Ant, Derek has stolen the show. Or have you stolen the show? Well, because you are the Musical Chairs winner. Musical Chair yep. champion. Uh, judged by Derek Chisora. Yep. 250 quid voucher. It's been a great Which night. Which is going straight to charity, but that's the kind of lad you are. Well you done, Anthony it. Crawler. But anyway... That was bonkers. I mean, Derek always kind of, he, well, he, he oh, always just surprises. He's one of the great characters yeah, in the sport, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we're going to miss him when he's gone. But um, I'm speaking like there, like, we've not got too much longer left, but Derek keeps surprising us. Um, I remember just a few years ago, how they referred to it as an Indian mm. summer, and uh, since then he's had some massive wins, some great performances, and um, Saturday night, he looks to right um, a wrong with Josie Parker. And just a quick one now to wrap it up. I mean, Joe Parker, again, it's always great to talk to Joe. What a real gentleman. I mean, again, it's, it's a funny dynamic between the pair of them. There's no beef there. And it was oh, really interesting watching guys. Joe just laughing at Derek when he was doing his routine. But how do you, how do you see it? Break it down. It's a tough one. Um, I'm going to back Dell. I'm going to back Dell to come okay. through in a close point victory. But, um, you know, Joe looks good. He's got um, a great coach, as both lads have. Um, in Andy Lee, um, they're very confident, much more improved, much more time yeah. together. I understand why he's favourite, but Derek, he likes to be writing the script. I think he might do it again Saturday. Well, as we've seen, he does it his way. That's certainly, certainly the case with Derek. That is it. It's Parker Chisora 2. This is the workout. That's all over, but we'll see you tomorrow for the press conference. And of course, it is the Betfred Boxing Show.